everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. Welcome to the Great Maker Show and Tell. Today we are putting vinyl on mugs. I've received many requests for this tutorial and it's really easy to see why. Personalized mugs are fun to have and to give as gifts and they are very on trend right now. And it's quite easy to add a name or saying to one of these mugs too. But I also understand why I got so many requests for a tutorial. Despite their simple appearance, there's a lot of choices that go into putting vinyl on a mug. First, you need to know what kind of mugs work best. Then you need to know what designs are best for mugs, especially if you're putting it onto a curved mug. And if you do get a curved mug, how do you put your vinyl on it without it creasing, right? And probably the biggest choice what kind of vinyl do you use so it will stay on your mug? And I can help with all of this. We'll go over the types and shapes of mugs that work best for vinyl decals. We'll talk about designs that look best on mugs. And then we're going to do a test of all the different types of vinyl one can put on a mug, from adhesive vinyl to heat transfer vinyl. You know, the stuff you iron on. And no, I'm not kidding. We're going to do it. And to top it all off, I am going to put the mugs in my dishwasher so you can see what is and is not dishwasher safe because this question comes up a lot. So for this project, you're going to need some vinyl and I am going to tell you which one I think works best later, plus some transfer tape and some rubbing alcohol. Oh, and you also need some designs, right? I made some super cute designs that you're welcome to download on my blog. These have uh, these are kawaii faces, and they're really easy to apply to mugs. Uh, great for beginners, and they look adorable. I have a variety of faces and expressions, including a unicorn and a kitty and a puppy. Let's first talk about mugs. So I have three standard mugs here. The first one has really straight sides. The second one has a gentle curve, though it's still sort of rectangular. It's still fairly flat, more or less. And the third one is very curvy. It comes down and it's wide at the top. It's curved both vertically and horizontally. Of these three mugs, the easiest one is going to be the one that's the pink one here on the left because it's got straight sides. It has curves going in one direction only. The hardest is gonna be the green one on the right because it's very curvy. All right, now let's talk about the kinds of designs that you can put on mugs. I mean, technically you can put anything on a mug, but is it gonna look good? So what you want to look for when you think about putting it, a vinyl design on a mug is, does it have arms? Does it have the ability to reach out and curve around a surface without an issue? Now, if you go with the, a mug like the pink one with straight sides, you can typically use any kind of decal. So if you're just starting out, look for that kind of mug. But if you have a mug that's really curvy, you want a design that has the ability to also kind of bend and curve with your mug. Now let's look at two different designs and so you can see how this works. So here I have my monogram. The one on the left has a circle around it and the one on the right does not. And there is a huge difference here. So let me first show you cutting out the vinyl. Now you'll notice I have uh, four different types of vinyl on my mat here. Four, four different kinds. So if you're curious about what I'm doing here, this is a trick that I use to cut things out faster and I talk about it in my floating ornaments video. So if you wanna go back and check for that. Once you've cut out your vinyl, you want to weed it, which means to remove all the extra bits that you don't want to transfer to your mug. Uh, you might be able to do this with your fingernail, but you might wanna use a weeding tool, which I have shown here. Now, here we have our two designs, we need also a piece of transfer tape to transfer these to our mugs. So you just wanna cut out a piece of transfer tape that is roughly the same size, or at least the same size as your design. And then you take the backing off of the transfer tape and you put it onto the front of your vinyl decal. Start at the corner and move outwards so that you don't get creases and bubbles in your transfer tape. So all nice and flat and straight. And we're gonna do this for both of these. 
because I'm going to put these on to the mug so you can see the difference in how these will apply. And this will make a difference in what kind of decal you choose. So we take off the backing on the vinyl. And when you set this down on your mat, don't put it down so sticky side down because that will just mess with your vinyl's ability to adhere to a mug. All right, so let's take these two older white mugs I have here. And we're going to clean the surface of both of these with rubbing alcohol. So I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol. And we're just going to clean off the surface of these so that any oil or dirt or anything that's on them is off and our surface is as clean as possible for putting the decal on and this will make a difference in the ability, how, how well it sticks. You know, we want, our, we want our decals to stick as good as possible, right? It's no fun putting something on and having it come right off. <laughs> and by the way, these are both just, these are dollar store mugs. These are very inexpensive mugs. All right, so here's our, we're gonna do our first decal with the circle around the monogram. So center it on your mug where you want it to be. Starting in the center, you press down and then press outward. Okay, so always start from the center and then press outward. Now, because this is this design is all connected and has nowhere to go, you'll see it creases when it goes around the corners, when it goes around the curves. Because it can't it can't conform to the surface because it's constricted by that circle that's around it, right? Everything is connected in this design and we can't we can't change it. Now you could take a scraper, which you should always do anyways, and see if you can get any of those creases out. I was unable to. And so you can see here, there's a crease right there and one right up here. This is the kind of design you want to avoid as much as possible. You just will not be able to get those creases out without luck or a lot of work. This one on the other hand, will work. And what we're going to do is we're going to make small snips around the, the edges of this design. And these snips are going to allow your transfer tape to bend with the curve of the mug and allow you to apply it on that curve without any creases. So we're going to center it just like before. There we go. So allow that vinyl to move where it wants to go naturally. Don't force it into a position. Just smooth it all down. And because you cut that transfer tape, it will smooth, it will move into place. So even though we have creases in our transfer tape, we don't have creases in our vinyl. And that's the secret to doing this. This is the secret to putting vinyl around a curved surface like this. So you have to pay attention to your design and you need to pay attention to um, you know, the, the way you cut your decal so that it will go around the curved surfaces. So let's take off all the transfer tape. And let's see how it looks. Hold up to the light. There we go, perfectly smooth and clear, no creases or anything like that. And that having removing that center circle makes all the difference in the ability to have a nice smooth decal on your mug. All right, so let's talk about vinyl now. I went through my entire collection of vinyl and I took out every single type of vinyl that I had and we're going to test them. I've created these little dots so that we can put them onto a mug and see how well they do. And it, I made the dots like this because uh, for a couple of reasons. One, we have a fine circle and we have a big area so we can see both types of things with each of these types of vinyl. And also I wanted you to see that even though I couldn't put that big circle on my mug, I, could, I can put these little smaller circles right, because of the surface. So here is our our first four vinyls, and we're gonna put also um, a glitter, a couple of glitter ones on as well. And I will tell you, when we're done, I will tell you exactly which vinyl I used and which one worked the best. Okay, now, what about heat transfer vinyl? A number of you asked about this technique. So some people have had some success putting iron-on vinyl on a mug. In that your mug has to be fairly porous for it, the vinyl to melt into. And I first tried ironing the um, 
heat transfer vinyl on with his little craft iron I had, but I decided it just wasn't getting hot enough. It was taking a really, really long time. Um, but we're just going to give this a try and see how it works. Now, note that I'm holding the mug with a towel because it can get really warm and you don't want to burn yourself. Um, and I had to switch to my regular iron just to get it to adhere um, because it just wasn't sticking. This process took a while. The, I had my iron at maximum temperature and I had to apply a fair amount of pressure to get the, the heat transfer vinyl to stick. So um, again, I'm using a variety of different uh, vinyls. I have um, different brands and I have different uh, finishes. So I did some glitter as well as regular. All right, so there we go. And you can see that just in doing, just applying the heat transfer vinyl, I messed up some of the adhesive vinyl on the other side. So <laughs> I'll tell you which one that was. All of the adhesives applied pretty much just fine without any issues. Uh, one of them started coming off when I with when it got like agitated from being turned over and doing the heat transfer ones. The heat transfer vinyls, on the other hand, were difficult to stick to the mug. It took a long time to get it to stick. And even then, I didn't feel entirely confident that I was really melting that heat transfer vinyl in. Maybe my iron doesn't get hot enough, but I have a pretty good iron. And, you know, I can't use my easy press for this, so I'm not sure what the choices I have. So let's go put this in the dishwasher. All right, so I put this mug in the dishwasher and I ran it five times. I wanted to see what would happen. So this one down at the bottom of the adhesive vinyl started coming off. The rest of them looked pretty good. The vinyl, the glitter one, uh, the ring came off of the glitter and the glitter also looks sort of washed away. It looks weird. It's not glittery at all anymore. See, it sort of just washed away. The holographic one looks a little bit weird. The heat transfer ones were a, basically a fail. The top two came off entirely. The glitter ones stayed, but the rings are missing. So yeah, I'm not planning to use heat transfer vinyl in the future. Maybe I did it wrong. I don't know what I would have done wrong. The only thing I can think of is maybe I should have allowed the vinyl to cure for more than, um, it was about a day that I let it sit. So maybe I should have waited a few days. Right. Generally speaking, that's good advice uh, before you wash something in the dishwasher. I needed to get this tutorial done, however, so I didn't have three days to wait. Now, I'm sure you're wondering which vinyl did the best here. OK, so the black circle, that is Oracle 651. And that is the vinyl that I recommend that you use for your mugs. And it's also what most people recommend. It's a permanent outdoor quality vinyl and it's going to last the longest. The second vinyl that you see here, which also did a good job, is Cricut Premium Vinyl uh, Permanent Glossy. Uh, it didn't have any issues, it looks great to me, okay? The third vinyl, the blue one where the ring is coming off, that is Easy Craft, and it's also uh, 651, so also a permanent vinyl, but clearly it had some issues. Um, I bought that off of Amazon last year. The fourth vinyl that you see here is a foil adhesive from Cricut, um, which did a great job. It looks and it's really pretty. I love that. It's copper, one of my favorites. The, the glitter adhesive vinyl that came off, that was a Cricut glitter it, you know, vinyl. It didn't work so well. And the holographic one is also a Cricut um, brand. I mean, it stayed on. It just kind of buckled a little bit. For the heat transfer vinyls, the first one was Cricut Stronghold Iron-On Vinyl, and the second one was Sisser Easy Weed Vinyl, you know, also heat transfer vinyl. Those two came right off in the dishwasher, so I would absolutely avoid those. The other two, the two glitters, gold one is a Cricut Vinyl, and the black one is a Sisser Heat Transfer Black Glitter Vinyl. So those two lasted longer in the dishwasher, but honestly, they don't feel they don't feel like they're gonna last long, right? They, they I have the sense that they're you know after a few more washes they're going to go bye bye. 
So I personally will be sticking with adhesive vinyl specifically. Um, I prefer and I recommend the Oracle 651, which is permanent outdoor vinyl. So there you go. That's the result of my test. Now again, um, you know, that iron-on vinyl perhaps needed more time to cure, and I will do another test where I let it sit for three days before putting it in the dishwasher. And if my results change, I will update my blog post so you know. But right now, I'm not recommending heat transfer vinyl. Maybe I have the wrong kind of mug. Maybe I have the wrong kind of vinyl. Maybe you have the wrong kind of iron. But you might also, and I would hate to steer you down the wrong path by recommending heat transfer vinyl. I think that the Oracle 651 does just fine. Okay, so and I made some cute designs as I told you, so I made these cute faces. And they're both layered designs, so I thought I would show you how to do them. So this first one is just a really simple face. So first you want to weed your project of course and wipe down your mug with alcohol. Transfer your top layer to a transfer sheet, which is the black layer. And then you're going to want to put your hearts on. I found it easier to do those one at a time. So just like, just like that, right? And then you want to do your snips around the edges to make sure that your vinyl has the ability to go where it wants. And then you place it on and you just smooth from the outside on and burnish it down. Remove your transfer tape. Voila, you have a super cute mug. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Okay, how about the unicorn mug? So the unicorn mug actually uses four different types of vinyl. One of which, one of which is printable vinyl. That's for the, the little wreath of flowers. I used, uh, I made a printable design and I cut it out on printable vinyl so that we could have multiple colors. And instead of having to layer lots of tiny little colors in vinyl because that did not sound like any fun to me. So this here, this is the printable vinyl and I left it on the, the backing so you could see that. So again, we're going to need a piece of transfer sheet uh, tape and you want large enough for the face and the horn, right? So even though you can't, the horn is not with the face right now. So when you put your transfer tape on, make sure that you um, set it so that it's plenty of space up there at the top for that horn to go on to. And then burnish it down with your scraper and peel off the backing and the transfer tape. Now the next layer um, I think is probably going to be not the horn, it's going to be the, um, yeah, it's going to be the pink layer. I'm going to cut all these bits off here and we just put them into place. In retrospect, it probably would have been better if I hadn't cut those hearts in half so that they were this, you know, but whatever. It's, I was able to eyeball it, but you may want to just keep them in place. And then the little ear insides. And if possible, try not to let your vinyl stick to anything because it just makes it less sticky for your mug. Um, and then we do the flower crown and that goes kind of centers in between the two ears. And then we do the gold glitter horn. By the way, glitter vinyl is very, is notoriously difficult to transfer onto your transfer tape. And you might want to use stronghold transfer tape and do that one separately. Um, I was able to get it off of, off of the backing onto my transfer tape but only with patience. I had to get out my weeding tool and go one by one. And it just doesn't, the glitter doesn't want to stick to the regular hold transfer tape. I did it because I wanted to show you the layering process. But if you use glitter, you're probably going to want to use the stronghold, but only use it for the glitter part. If you use stronghold transfer tape for your regular vinyl, it will be really hard to get it off and onto your mug. So in that case, you'd want to do two different applications. Um, but I wanted to show you what it looked like with just one because you might not use glitter, right? So here we go. Here's our layered vinyl decal. We're going to put it onto the white mug. Yeah. So don't forget to wash your mug down with alcohol first. And this is this mug, of course, is in a tumbler shape. So, of course, you might now be wondering, well, what about tumblers? Could I put this on my Yeti? So, uh, 
the surface of other tumblers, like this one is ceramic, so it's nice and shiny and smooth. But if there's like a powder coating on your tumbler, you might find it very difficult to get vinyl to stick. I did a little research when I was preparing this video and there were some people had great results with vinyl and some people didn't. So I thought I would do some more research on my own and do a different video for you in the future about how to do tumblers and the various ways that people successfully do them. And here is my sweet little unicorn face. Isn't she cute? <laughs> I adore this unicorn. And these files are on my blog and you're welcome to use them, personalize them. You could certainly put a name on the mug there and that would be an awesome gift for your someone else or for yourself. So vinyl mugs are fun and easy if you know the right way. Now, even though I did the dishwasher test, I still tend to hand wash my vinyl mugs. It's your choice. So go ahead and put your mugs in the dishwasher but with the understanding that after maybe the 10th or 100th time, they might not look so great. But hey, you can always remake it, right? <laughs> so tomorrow we're going to switch gears a little bit and I'm going to show you how to paint furniture. Yes, you heard me right. And then we're going to stencil the furniture using vinyl cut on a Cricut. It's a great way to repurpose pieces that you already have. Now, be sure to send in your project ideas at jennifermaker.com slash show and tell. You guys have got the best ideas. I love them. And remember, if you can tell me what you want to make, I can show you how to make it. Until tomorrow.